In the Large Magellanic Cloud, one of the closest neighbouring galaxies to the Milky Way, we find the cosmic ruins of an unusual star that exploded on the 23rd of February 1987. This supernova event was the brightest and closest seen from the Earth since the invention of the telescope. Hi, my name is Joe Gallian. I use the Murchison Widefield Array radio telescope for my research into the remnant of supernova 1987A as part of my PhD project with Castro at the University of Sydney. Our data not only reveals more about the physical processes during and after the explosion, but also about a phase of the star's life that we had very limited information about previously. From decades of observing the Large Magellanic Cloud with different types of telescopes and at different frequencies, we knew that the supernova must have been the collapse of a blue supergiant star. These types of stars are very unstable. And in the case of supernova 1987A, it was a blue supergiant for only around 20,000 years. This is just a tiny fraction of a typical star's lifetime, less than 0.1% in fact. It is also very unusual for stars to enter a blue supergiant phase before they collapse. Most stars are in a red supergiant phase of their life when they go supernova. But only our new observations at the lowest frequencies ever have been able to open a window into the life of the star when it was in its red supergiant phase. This is vital to understand because the majority of the star's final stages of life are spent as a red supergiant. Just like excavating and studying ancient ruins that teach us about the life of a past civilization, we can use low frequency radio astronomy to look further into the history of stars and galaxies. Our new observations of the remnant of supernova 1987A show that the older material from its red supergiant phase is being pushed along by the younger material from the blue supergiant phase and by the shock from the supernova. Compared to what we previously assumed in our simulations, we now know that the red supergiant star lost its matter at a slower rate. This new data improves our knowledge of the composition of space in the region around supernova 1987A. And we can now go back to our simulations and tweak them to better reconstruct the physics of supernova explosions. Supernova remnant 1987A, more than any other supernova remnant, has shaped our understanding of how massive stars end their lives. This study has revealed what occurred right before the star's death, helping us understand the physical processes that led to one of the largest explosions in our universe.